I'm Heidi Swap, and this is Create to Remember. And as you can see, it looks like we're having a party here today. <laughs> and I love birthdays. Birthdays is one of those things that I just think is important to remember and important to celebrate. And I love to make a big deal out of birthdays. And so today I just wanted to talk about a few fun things, ways to really make birthdays a little bit more memorable and differentiate maybe the birthdays a little bit. One of the things that I've chosen to do is I have albums like this that are just for birthday pages. And so I'll put the years in, in consecutive order and um, have scrapbook pages of the parties. They're my, my kids' very favorite albums. I brought a couple just to show you so that you could see. Um, I found that the the parties that we made the more the most effort on are the ones obviously that are the more the most memorable let's see here we go this was a pirate birthday that i did for my second son when he turned 8 and my husband got involved with this one and we had a pirate party and i'm going to show you here it just kind of shows the invitation so you got to zoom in on this invitation that we definitely rolled up and put in a bottle so if you are going to do a fun invitation, make sure that it gets saved and stuck on a scrapbook page. Now this one you'll love. We made a pirate treasure map and managed to salvage the map to go back into the scrapbook page. But this was a map that my husband and I worked on and the kids followed to find different things. And here I have all the different things that they found. They had a great time, and again, that creative process made it so much more memorable. Um, you know, you don't have to do a lot of decorating to get some fun wow factor, and I think that making decorations is especially important for those girly parties. Um, hopefully you can see this one, and, and I love this picture up here in this top picture because I had had some helium balloons and decided to leave really long strings on them. And the little girls loved it. It was the hit of the party, these super long string balloons, because, you know, they couldn't go all the way up. And so I love that I have a photo that I remember that. And Quincy, even though she was four, was just so happy to be able to reach those balloons. Even just a little bit of effort goes a long way, especially on birthdays. And I think that you can't always go crazy. In fact, this page right here is of Capri's first birthday. And you know what? That is the only photo that I have of a birthday. And luckily, it's a photo that really captures kind of the magic of opening the presents. But even if you don't have a whole elaborate party or you don't have all these photos that really documented the day, take advantage of any opportunity to just say a couple things and, and capture that party. I uh, just had my, it was just my niece's birthday, and I just grabbed some of the things out of my scrapbook room and hot glued them to sticks. You can see some over here in this jar. It was so fun just to have these little glittery pieces that were on the table and making a really fun impact by the desserts and stuff like that, you know, and it did not take me a lot of time, but got a lot of wow factor. Even the banners that are behind me and those big tissue paper puffs, they don't take a lot of time, but, and they can be used over and over, but it makes people feel special and it makes it more, more memorable. One of the things, the other things that we do in our house is that we have birthday countdowns. And I've got one right here that I've made and a printable that you can print out. You can either print it in color or you can print it in black and white, which is kind of fun. And the digital files are also available. So you can make it your own color or whatever. In this case, you could put it on anything, but I chose to use this little Ikea frame. And I punched holes right through the paper. The paper slides down into this. But watch how six days left, five days away. And it goes on and on all the way down. 
kids love this and adults alike. So this would be really cute sitting on any teacher's desk or, you know, on anybody's desk or counter for them and everybody to know that it's their birthday. And it's a great way to make people feel special. So really easy five minute product project to add some real cool memories. The last thing I want to show you was, you know, I have girls and boys and the boys frankly don't get into this at all, as you can imagine, but they still want to feel special and they still want a cool birthday surprise. This was a, a mini book that I made for my son and I made it literally out of two pieces of cardboard and some paper in an accordion fold. I did lots of journaling and I added things that he had been involved with that year. And the fun thing was that this was able to sit up on his desk and he looked at it all the time. So it was a really great memory and definitely one that made his birthday feel special. So I think that birthdays are the most wonderful day for that person. Everybody wants to feel special on their birthday. So make sure that while you're celebrating the birthdays that you make some pretty stuff. See you next time.